Someone tell me to look at this. Come on. So on August 12th, I get like two phone calls from my other sister's baby daddy. And he doesn't usually call me or anything like that. So I'm sitting here like, oh, God. Well, I tried to call him back and he didn't answer. So I went on lunch. Um, I called him back. He didn't answer. And then he finally called me back. I answered the phone. He's like, Kiki G. I'm like, what? And he's like, there's something I need to tell you. I'm like, okay. He's like, he's like, Don't break you. I just want to tell you this before you guys move any further or it gets really good. And I was like, okay, what is it? And I'm like, at that point, I already knew. My heart already started pounding. And he's like, Nunu's pregnant. I instantly was like, like, I just was like sitting there. I'm like, okay. And then he's like, Nunu's pregnant by Boo Boo, which is Charles. I instantly, what, my, my hands get to shaking. I'm sitting here, I'm out of town working at a whole nother store as a GM because the GM there was sick. I'm sitting here like, I instantly started bawling my eyes out. I called my mom instantly. My mom was like, I was like, so Nunu's pregnant? And she was like, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your other sister's baby daddy called you to tell you that your sister got pregnant by your baby daddy. I'm trying to understand how your other sister's baby daddy is breaking the news to you first. Did your sister not know? And why would her baby daddy know before her? That, don't, that doesn't make any sense. She was like, what? Like, for real? And then she's like, let me call you right back. And she, so I text Charles and I was like, so you got her pregnant? And he left me on red. He couldn't text me back. He instantly gets to calling his mama to come get him, calling his sister to come get him, blah, 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 all type of weird ass shit. I call Nunu. What? She don't answer. She don't never answer my phone call. She don't never answer. She don't, she will not answer to me. She won't none of that. Sorry, y'all. I had to put a little little guy in this video because he would not stop crying anyways so my mom drives over there and she's like you got my baby crying on this phone you need to give her answers you ain't shit all this type of stuff and so I was, she put it on speaker and i was like um she put it on speaker and i was like so charles is it true did you get her pregnant is that your baby this man gonna say yes ma'am when I asked him if that's his baby, he, he gonna say on the phone in front of my mom, in front of my mom's boyfriend, all that, he gonna say, yes, ma'am. At this point, I'm just, I'm still crying uncontrollably because I'm thinking like, bro, this dude ain't never get my sister pregnant. My sister ain't never got the same baby daddy as me. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm sitting here thinking about all that. I'm thinking about my kids. So they supposed to be brother, sister. So this is everything I'm thinking about in the time when he told me that. And then... I was thinking deeper, like, so, oh, so y'all must have been still fucking, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about everything. Could you imagine that you have your dad and your mom, and now your dad is with your auntie? <laughs> this is wrong. This man picked her sister. That is some devious shit. I've heard stuff like this, especially when it comes to women, where a man would, like, cross her or cheat on her, and then she'd be like, fine, I'm gonna fuck your brother. <laughs> He could have picked anybody, bro. Anybody. And there is like no loyalty from the sister. I expected the sister to have the most loyalty ever. She have, she should have reported to her and said, yo, your man trying to talk to me. It should, it should have been loyalty there. But there's none. How does she think this is going to play out, bro? Because now he, go to, he, he about to be going between both women. And I was thinking deeper like, so, oh, so y'all must have been still fucking. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about everything. So I asked my sister and her baby daddy when they found out. They said Nunu came over there. She was showing her stomach. She said she was pregnant by Charles. She sounded happy about it. And um, so I asked Charles when he found out. I guess the same time my sister's baby daddy called and told me. After he told me, he told him. And Charles is sitting here telling me in my face that he just found out when I found out. He's like, I just found out from the same person you found out about. I didn't know about this. If it was true, why she ain't tell me and everything like that. Your sister went to your other sister's house with her baby daddy over and went over there to flex the baby. She didn't want to tell him, but told your sister and her baby daddy. 
Okay. But your sister didn't even call you about it. Her baby daddy called you. That shit's weird. Why is you, why? There's no law. Where, where is the loyalty? Where is the loyalty? <laughs> For her to be so comfortable with doing that, it's like as if they already like knew about it. And Charles is sitting here and telling me in my face that he just found out when I found out. He's like, I just found out from the same person you found out about. I didn't know about this. If it was true, why she ain't tell me and everything like that. Come to find out, um, everybody knew. My mom called and told Charles before me. My mom told my whole entire family in Iowa when she went on her vacation in August, around August 5th, she told everybody in Iowa before me. Like, what the fuck? Like, my sister and my sister's baby daddy knew. They just couldn't hold it in anymore. They felt bogus. Yeah, I was mad at them for not telling me, but I appreciate them for telling me. If they didn't, I still wouldn't know. Charles talking about something he didn't know. He found out when I found out. He's lying. That, that was true. He lied. He lied about that. He knew since the beginning of July, just like everybody else. Like, all this shit is weird. I have... No, no, no. Throw, throw them away. Throw, throw them away. Fuck the whole thing. Throw them away. Out of everything we've ever posted, guys, if there was anything, anything that Jesus didn't die for, it was this. I would have major trust issues after this. I would have, I would be traumatized. I would, I would need therapy. Because the people that you should trust the most would you be your family. The people that birthed you. Like, oh my God. So for my mom to, uh, when I tell her, call her on the phone and for her to be like, okay, let me call you right back and hang up like she didn't know. And then for her to be like, you got my baby crying on the phone. But she needs answers. Bro, it was all fake. It's all fake. Like, it's all fake. It's weird. <sighs> yeah, it don't get more savage than that. She put on a whole show for you to make it look like she was on your side. That it's and then it's your mother. That I'm not gonna cap. That would kill me. Cut ties with everyone for peace and healing. For real, they don't just get cut them all off. They're done. Throw them away. Throw them away. Nunu and Boo Boo. I'm sorry. <laughs> the nicknames. He said thank you. I didn't want to be the one to say it, yo. My sister has a baby by my daughter sperm donor. <laughs> huh okay 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 you found a sperm donor had the kid your sister saw the kid and was like oh my god your baby is so cute she loved the features and went to go get the same sperm donor as you <laughs> guys in the, is this a, is that a betrayal is it a betrayal haven't spoken to her in six years my daughter is 23 i wasn't with him but why would she do that she wanted the features or something but i don't know if jesus died for this one either we got confessions in this motherfucker today. What I'm trying to figure out is, are they going to keep the baby? Because what the fuck? And are they still together? Or was he just hooking up with her because he's hooking up with other people too? And he, she's just one of them? Like, I need something else. So guys, she posted another update with a little bit more information. Morning, y'all. It's like 6 in the morning. My phone is blowing up. Check my messages, y'all. This dude. This dude posted my sister on his story he this this literally is disgusting to me bro he's keeping it oh, this shit's very embarrassing he's keeping it um, ah! at this point ah! you know, it's just i would give the shirt off my back to these people okay like i'm just trying to i don't know at this point i'm kind of like going back and forth in my head like but then it's not me though i know it's not me i'm a good ass woman I'm a go-getter. I work very hard for everything. Everything that I got, he he can't even barely even keep a job, bro. But it, at this point, it's just like, I'm not even crying because I want him back. I'm crying because I wasted all my time. He could have been left a long time ago. I don't know, y'all. This video is just short and I think that you are crying because you low-key do want him back. I've heard like from mothers, people that have kids with somebody, like have, their, like, have a baby daddy, a lot of them want their want their man back so they can be a family the dating world gets hard when you have a kid two your entire fucking family just betrayed you and really your sister's the biggest one but the entire family three now things about to get weird as fuck in the family it's just gonna be weird somewhere but yeah 
this shit low key starting to fuck me up. I know they happy about it. They talking about some, his sister talking about some. Is you mad, bitch, that my brother didn't want you like over my sister, bro? You can't even do that. Like, I'm not mad. He's extra baggage. That's. I'm not mad that all that. I'm mad at the principal. I'm mad at that's my blood. I'm mad that my kids are gonna be brother or sister and cousins. I'm mad that I have to not even deal with y'all, but like know that y'all finna around in the family. I'm mad that you finna try to bring in the Thanksgiving dinner and shit like that, which is never gonna happen. But that's why I'm mad. This shit is deep. I'm mad for my kids. I'm mad that I gotta tell my kids shit like this. That's why I'm mad. That's why y'all see these tears. I'm not mad because I, I don't want him no more. He's extra baggage. I'm finna have so much more now. Just watch me. And to top it all off, bro, you 20 years old. You 20 years old and he is 34. Gonna be 35. Bro, what the fuck? Like, you lying. Come on now. Y'all, I'm telling you, this shit is sick. This shit is weird. Oh, oh, we got a laundry list of shit that she's fucking down for. Guys, I am telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. This is fucked up. He went after a 20 year old. He's 35. That's 15 fucking years in age difference. She can't even drink. And the entire family knew, and they were just chilling in the hang. Like, they're just vibing with it. Just fucking with it. That's some. That's some groomy ass shit. Cause you gotta remember, if, if she was with he was with her, that means she he must have known her sister when she was like younger, like 17, 18, 19. Like, bro, bro. I do believe that once you're 18, I guess like date whatever age you want, but I just don't think that I just don't I always think it's really groomy or predatory when it's an 18-year-old with a 35-year-old. It's just never waved to me. I'm over this. I'm over this, y'all. I don't know how this is gonna end, but I'm praying. As I always say, guys. <sighs> What do you think about this?